it's Coach Tom Ferry. Welcome to Life by Design, your place online for ideas, inspiration, and of course, always how to stay in the right action. So it's Big Money Monday, and I know you're as fired up as I am. I'm sure you've got your goals laid out for the week. You've got your intentions for the week. You're looking at the number of appointments you scheduled, the hours of power that you plan to do, and everything you want to do to make your business win. Let me give you a little thought for you. If you've got some time for a project this week, one of the things I've been asking a lot of my personal clients to do is to take every piece of marketing they have, print, brochures, uh, you know, copies of their website, their business card, everything that has your brand on it and lay it out on a conference table. Look at everything and ask yourself just a few basic questions. First, is it relevant? You know, do I have relevant headlines in every marketing piece that I do? Relevant headlines. We all know a headline is like that, you know, the, the top couple words or phrases that would draw somebody's eyeballs in. Like when you read the newspaper, you see a direct response ad or even from a postcard. I mean, really is a, is just sold really a relevant headline or is it look what we did again or against all odds another sale or you know highest you know highest sale in this marketplace as an example something a little more relevant to what's happening in the marketplace um, second thing is content rich body that we're always making sure that we're giving people the facts and the figures and the details so they can make decisions we know like for example if you're trying to go after sellers what do they want they want to be educated they want you to be the knowledge broker so are you are you educating and you have content rich body in everything you're sending out or does it say three bedroom two bath you know pretty views I mean look come on we're beyond that it's 2011 right and then the other one that I'm noticing too is I'm asking for simple CTAs simple call to action when I say simple call to action let me give you a little thought ready if you have um if you tell them to email you and call you that's not simple which one is it do you want to call or do you want to email do you want me to go to your website or do I'm going to call you? Make it simple. Tell me one thing you want me to do. That's a simple call to action. Another little insight that I've noticed when I do this review for people is I see they'll say, you know, call me, and then they've got multiple phone numbers throughout the piece. So they've got their office line, they've got their cell phone, they've got a direct line, and it's just overwhelming. Keep it simple. Tell me what you want me to do. Do I'm going to call you? Do I'm going to email you? Do I'm going to go to the website? Do I'm going to download a free report? Do I'm going to register for some information on your site and get a free something or other? Tell me exactly what you want me to do. Sell one and sell hard. Sell one and sell hard. So I would ask you to do that same thing. Look at everything you're doing. And on a little side note, are you tracking and measuring? That's a whole separate conversation. You know, what inside your marketing is working, what isn't working. Um, maybe talk to your coach about this one because that's a big one. Photos, always important. You know, I think you should continue to brand yourself, but your photo should be the same photo you have online and offline. Business card, everything, the same, the same, the same. And then, you know, just the word that I think about where a lot of my clients is, is this catchy? I mean, um, if, if you watched the Super Bowl yesterday, what was your favorite commercial? Was it the one that stood out, the one that made you feel good, the one that made you think, oh, you know, like I, I think of um, the, the Volkswagen commercial with the young kid in the Darth Vader outfit, oh, standing in front of the car and the, the parents inside turning the engine on from, you know, inside the house. I mean, it was cute. I watched all my buddies and everybody laughed and thought it was just the greatest thing. It was relevant to us because we're part of the Star Wars generation. We thought it was really hot. But it was catchy. It was funny. It was interesting. Is your marketing relevant? Is it fun? Is it interesting does it speak to the consumers in your marketplace or is it still just about you um, by the way not a good idea if it is side note just got this in the mail um, speaking of you know connecting with your customers the thank you economy Gary Vaynerchuk uh, this is the un, uh, uncorrected manuscript not for sale uh, my buddy GV just sent me a copy for me to review I will uh, read it over the week and I will let you know what this book says and if you should check it out I have a feeling it's going to be really strong because so much of what Gary talks about is being relevant being relevant not just in your marketing but in your customer service and everything you do so Interesting message for you on this Monday. Could be a big project for you. Lay everything out and let's talk about what we can do to make your marketing more effective, your brand better, and ultimately you get the business that you deserve. So remember always, especially on Mondays, your strategy matters and now more than ever, your passion rules. Talk to you on Wednesday.